This portion of the show, it might be, you might notice that we don't really seem to have a plan. That's because we don't. It's an art form we like to call improv. This show would die a fiery death without improv. Instead of causing, instead of causing one, yeah. Uh, this, the, we knit everything together with it. You need, as a performer, it doesn't matter what you do, whether you sing, whether you dance, whether you act, whether you clown, you need these skills in order to, to function at all. And so we train here like a, like a ninja. This is Frankie. She, she runs tech, do what she says. And very awesome. Super awesome. Thank you. I will proceed. Yes, and I will proceed. Yes. Okay. So, we train here like ninja boot camp for improvisers. And we, we didn't know what the heck to call people who came up here just to play improv games. So we gave them a name, and it stuck, and it became a tradition of the show. Every now and again, we get people up on the stage. They jump into a game. They polish it up. They throw it here in the main show. We call them the Stage Falls. Our stage vaults tonight include Mr. Brett Crow, Christopher Strand, a man we know as 12, and Greg. Greg is my inner voice, so anything he says is really what I'm thinking. That's not actually true. Now, we are going to play a game tonight called Revolver. It is called Revolver because you'll notice we have two actors together, and if I say forward, they revolve showing us another two actors. If I say reverse, they move in a Wittershins faction, fashion. It's improv, I'm allowed to mispronounce things if I choose. It's a character choice. Bless you. Strong, thank you. And, and we will get to visit these scenes. They move forward in time as we go. You guys get the general idea so far? I will need a character relationship between these two actors to keep it interesting, please. Oh, come on. That's like the easiest, what was this? Assa I heard frenemies and assassins, so we'll say frenemy assassins. Very nice. Forward. Now, I'm going to need an exotic locale for these two performers. Somewhere interesting. I heard Noah's Ark. This is already on to just a high bar start. The flames we, we get to see tonight are going to be super special. Forward. Oh, we need a task, a simple task that could go horrifyingly wrong. Tying your shoes. Ordering pizza. I heard ordering pizza. <laughs> that seems fairly innocent, yet just rife with opportunities to get at least somebody killed. Forward. And last but not least, because you've shown me so well that you have the capacity for it, a sound effect, if you will. Splorch. The judges have chosen Splorch to be the improvisational seed to create your scene. You poor, sorry schmucks. <laughs> With that in mind, I'm going to say the magic word, and they shall begin. You will applaud. Ladies and gentlemen, the stage falls revolver forward! Well, colleague. Well. If that is your real name. That's what it says on my ID. I know. I know you know. I know you know I know. This is getting ridiculous. Don't make me kill you. You know that you can't kill me unless you get a contract. Maybe I already have the contract. Forward! This Honey. boat is big. Isn't it supposed to be? Well... We have every one of every animal, even the females. <laughs> Two of each. Did, did, who, okay, who, who did the sexting? God. I guess that makes he sense. He set up this whole invite. You didn't get the Facebook? I was just following you. Typical sheep. <laughs> Forward! <laughs> Ronnie's Pizza? Uh, yeah, I, I, I need a, a large pepperoni, pound of butter, biscuit in the middle. All right, yeah, that's, that's a large pepperoni with a pound of butter and a... Well, uh, we're out of biscuits. Well, you sh 
Okay, fine. Uh, can, can I... How about anchovies? Do you got anchovies? Anch... You know, I don't think we've ever actually stocked anchovies. Nobody's ever tried to order them before. You've got them on your menu. Yeah, but nobody orders them. Like, we got some in, like, when we first opened the store, but then they all went bad. So we didn't we didn't. They're anchovies. Restock. They don't go bad. That's they don't how go good long either. ago it was. <laughs> Forward. Splorch. Yeah, yeah, that's about the sound I imagine that would make. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, we should, so that was, that was a cantaloupe? Yeah, yeah, we got pumpkins, though. Pumpkins? Yeah. Do you think that would also make the same, like, vaguely splorchy sound? There's a little bit different consistency. Well, You've got I mean, the if seeds. it hits a guy like that guy, probably. Yeah? Yeah? Let's give it a shot. Okay, all right. All right, so, well, that's a big pumpkin. It's in season. Oh, okay, okay. So, on three, one, two, three, splorch. Ah. Hey! I think that was the sound we were looking for. That's fantastic. But, were you recording? No, but we need to go through a couple of more different, like, melons and gourds and such. Forward! For... Your, uh, your contract for me is uh, written in crayon. Did you get your son to write this? He's growing up so fast. <laughs> he already has the thirst for blood. It runs in the family. I know, just, just, just a month ago we were going to his christening. I mean... I know. We even did it with blood. It was amazing. <laughs> I mean... He does need to work on his spelling, though. His smelling? Spelling. Oh. Well, he does work, need to work on his smelling, too. It's in the technique. Because uh, technically, that's, uh, that's for a different guy, that contract, because that's not how my last name is spelt at all. You're not Johnson? No. I'm Strand. <sighs> Reverse! <laughs> okay, so that's the watermelon, that's the kiwi fruit. The kiwi fruit I didn't like very much. Well, I mean, I think kiwi fruit works better if you, like, use a bunch of them. Yeah, but then you're not getting the one sound effect. You're kind of getting a splatter, like, rainfall-y kind of... I feel like they'd be really good on, like, soundtrack, too. Oh, maybe, maybe. That's definitely something that we can keep an ear out for, but uh, I, I, I really like the pumpkin the best still, I think. Yeah, yeah. Did you... Do, do we have another pumpkin that size? Reverse I mean... twice! Okay, I need to talk to management. I don't know who put us sheep beside the lions, but this has got to stop. That Noah. That lion keeps knocking on the wall and growling at us all night. I haven't slept in days. It's kind of his forte, though. I mean, we do smell delicious. That's As kind of the problem. You do not put the prey animal next to the predator animal on the same boat. Well, let me tell you, you better start praying right now. <laughs> I'm an atheist. Didn't you already know that? Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Forward. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so, so, yeah, no. What do you have? We have pepperoni, and I think we have butter. I said, you said butter, right? I a said pound a pound of, of butter. A pound of butter. It can be on that the side. Is, it's probably going to be on the side. Um, I think we have pepperoni, though. Let me, let me double check. Hang on a second. Hey. Yeah, we've got it. You know what? We've got it. We've got, because, unless we ran out. But I'll, I'll double check here in a minute. Um, so, that's, is that going to do it for you? Just a pepperoni pizza? On thin crust. On thin crust. <laughs> Forward! So, um, all of our uh, pumpkins are, that we have left are kind of rotten. That actually sounds like a good thing. But I don't, I, I don't want to touch them, though. To... Oh, um, should we, like, wear gloves? I'm wearing gloves. Well, I'll, I was, I'll do it. Here. I was thinking more we could construct an intricate catapult. We could build a robot. 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna build a robot. We're gonna build a robot. Well, Johnson's dead. <laughs> you yep. got lucky this time. <laughs> you let your son do it? You gotta learn sometime. Um, so he I beat him to death with a rattle. <laughs> it was amazing. I'm so proud of him. Yeah, and then, and then like the, 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 is his calling card now to draw all over them with crayons? Because where did he learn some of those uh, words? Video games. <laughs> They're so violent. I d well, I did just get him Assassin's Creed just to show him the ropes. That does work. That does this work. Enough. Yeah. I mean, you, you go running at some dude with knives, though, and I, I mean, I'm 50 yards away with a, with a rifle. I think I'm going to beat the guy with the knives. You're a dick. <laughs> Reverse! <laughs> All right. So, the Pumpkin Chucker 5000 is ready. We just, we just got to make sure that it doesn't become evil. Yes. Also, did you bring D batteries? It takes two D batteries. I thought we were going with double A's. Just a bunch of them. Yeah, well, the D battery cells are cheaper to build. You're so smart. I know, right? Except that I didn't bring freaking batteries. Reverse! <laughs> You, you do have thin crust, pe uh, thin crust, right? I just checked. It's going to be an extra hour for the thin crust because our guy that rolls out the dough, he um, just fell ill suddenly. <laughs> um, not on the pizza, right? I'm not at liberty to disclose. <laughs> um, I'm starting to rethink my order. Okay, what do you want? To die. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's, uh, this isn't the assassin's hotline. That's one digit up. Ah, okay. Reverse. <laughs> Look at this. This was not on the brochure. Well, these tickets did cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> really? That's what you're bringing to this? A lion <laughs> ate my arm and you're making that stupid I joke. think you're lying. <laughs> Why do I stay with you? Because we're about to drown in the giant lake that's called Earth currently because of the downpour Noah's Ark. We're almost dead. <laughs> I, I don't... Thank you, God. <laughs> and we'll stop right there. Let's do 